The Heat Feeds Global Char Grill Showcase, March 2009. The weather was a bit damp, but it didn't dampen the enthusiasm. The idea for the day was to bring together a group of chefs to show us a diverse range of food to be cooked over Heat Beads barbecue briquettes. Fun for all the family. First up was Maro Caligari. More this, flour on top. And this is such a great uh, usage of a barbecue, actually, to do bread. How, how many have cooked bread in a barbecue before? <coughs> Anyone? I have. You have? But uh, uh, flatbreads, sort of like, you know, the um, uh, Indian-style bread. Like a yeah. chapati. Think, yeah, that's a day yep, work. Or naan. Beautiful. But yep. I haven't made little rolls. It's a great idea. Oh, my God, he's quick. That's fantastic. Thank you, on cup chorizo. Something's not, wrong. Not a barbecue. <laughs> we have. We have. There we go. Oh, my God. Wow. It's growing. <laughs> Mauro showed us an Argentinian family tradition, making sausages and bread rolls on the Weber kettle. You saw them being made, incredible Argentinian sausages, citrus mayonnaise, and the incredibly butch chimchurri. Let's give him a big hand. Well done, Mauro. Next up, Mark Olive showed us an interesting barbecue technique. Lemon myrtle and ginger barramundi baked in paper bark. Very, very concentrated in its flavour. Mm. You don't really need that much. Spring that, sprinkle that around the paper bark as well. Yep. Now, you don't want to make it hard. <laughs> Let's not make it hard. <laughs> right. um, just bung it all in there. The lemon myrtle will do the work for you. Yep. So we're just going to wrap that up. We'll, straight on the heat. We will stick it straight on the heat. Mark cooked this amongst the coals in the entertainer barbecue for 10 to 15 minutes. Yay. That's a nice bit of yeah. fish. We, we look to, uh, to do that ourselves. I think that sounds great. And I love the idea of the pickled ginger on look top. Pickled. Shall we give Mark from uh, Ma Mark Olive a huge round of applause? Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Then he stuck around to sign some books for his fans. Next came the French perspective with a bit of a frozzy twist. Making the pomelo bernays over live coals. Oh. Wow, you're adding that quickly. Yeah, Iron Chef French. Yeah, yeah then use one of those. Sakai. Go Sakai. The high temperature. A classic filet mignon with fabulous smoky prawns topped with a wonderful sauce bernays. Yeah, we made it. We made it through. Now we got the food. A barbecue demonstration just wouldn't be complete without Stavros from Stavros Tavern in Albert Park. And he certainly didn't disappoint. Oh, there we go. The leg tends to be a bit drier. Yep. It depends on how long you're going to cook it for and how long it's going to last on the spindle. Isn't it? It's not that much cheaper, but it is not cheaper. Actually, not it's anymore, isn't it? Anymore, the no, the no, forecourt has come up lamb, in price. Because all the, the skippies have discovered it, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. I was saving that we you from it. Like, have a real coals like this, as opposed to gas-fired barbies, which yes. you sometimes see with the yes. jet something happens over you know a number of hours at times. Great simple flavours. For more of Stavros's spit roasted Greek lamb, check out heatbeads.com. Next came Nougat Tran, our best char grilled barbecue recipe competition winner, with a recipe for char grilled barbecue pork with lemongrass and shallots. Barbecue pork chop with lemongrass, shallot, and pickle. Congratulations! Yes, there is a wonderful, well deserved winner, and enjoy all your prizes. Next up, John McClay from Red Spice Road. What are we going to do? We're going to do Bo La Lot, which is beef wrapped in beetle leaves. Authentic Vietnamese street food. And gorgeous. We use um, a marinade called a chimichurri. And anyone who was here a little earlier today, we had an Argentinian chef this morning, Maro. If you get a Greenstone one of these, they're pretty cheap. What's that, about 30 bucks? Yeah, this is about 45 bucks, something yeah. like that. Yeah, The one yeah. we got at work's really just, big, just but I had to get a truck up. to bring it here. I couldn't be bothered doing yeah, yeah. that. We got to check out the Big Green Egg, a ceramic barbecue from Japan, which we're told is brilliant for slow cooking over heat beads. Okay, sorted. Yeah, we that. We'll just put the lid down for a second to hurry up. Very patient. Bang them across there. <laughs> and pull out the skewer. Ooh. And here is that the tastings oh, are coming around. Good ones. It's great. <laughs> so this is John's recipe that he is preparing right in front so of you. Doesn't that look delicious? Thanks, John. as well as professional chefs sharing with us their international barbecue dishes. On the day, we had Australian sports stars demonstrating healthy barbecue dishes for kids and adults. 
Renee Hallinan from the Melbourne Vixens netball team talked to the crowd about high energy foods and shared with us her best ever barbecue dish. Seared salmon on golden roasty. Tal Karp, captain of the Melbourne Victory women's soccer team and Melbourne Storm legend Steve Turner revealed the secret barbecue ingredients that keep them fit for elite sport and the food required to recover after a big match. Monica Wright and Matt Thom, four times World Fitness Pairs champions, got green and lean on the barbecue with their lean and green chicken meatballs with a side of healthy salad. Suzanne Gibbs from BBC Good Food Magazine Australia cooked barbecue baby back pork ribs with pineapple sambal. They look delicious. So there it is, the 2009 Global Char Grill Showcase. Congratulations again to the winner of the best Char Grill Barbecue Recipe Competition, Nougat Tran. And very big thanks to the chefs who braved the wild weather to show what Melbourne barbecuers are made of.